Hey, it's Amy Green with Amy and Art Designs. I am so excited to be back and finish our watermelon tray. I have been thinking about this little tray all day long. It is so cute. I love the colors we picked. And I absolutely can't wait to craft with you. So come on in. Say hi. I'm just taking the paper off the back of this right now. Let me know how you're doing. How was your Saturday? We were pretty busy. Um... Joe spent a lot of his day cleaning out the um, the playroom and I was catching up on some work and the kids took a couple dips in the pool and that was really the extent of it. I did make a Hobby Lobby run. So come on in and say hi. Um, if this is your first time here, make sure you let us know that it's your first time here so we can give you a warm welcome. If you're watching on the replay, make sure you drop hashtag replay so I can say hi to you later. And come on in and just tell me about your day. What's been going on? Hey, Mary Beth. Hey, Tammy. Hey, guys. So, what y'all do today? Let's chat for a minute. I um, I made a Hobby Lobby run. I'll share that with you guys Monday, later on Monday. That's some cute stuff. Yeah, um, Nate has been in the pool and rocks. Yes, Nate is refusing to go to bed. Um, yep. yeah, he's, the rocks, he's so. worried that I'm not going to be okay by myself, but I'm pretty sure he's going to make a decision to go to bed so that he can earn his tech back on Monday. Well, I hope that we get to get the clean of rocks again. Yeah. Yep. So, um, oh, Cindy, you picked up, how long was she at camp? You picked up your girl from camp. So yeah, Nate, they... They're still building our pool, so we have a pool in the ground with water in it, but they're putting, they've got, like, um... And I sometimes die from food cannibal. Okay, honey. Shh. Shh. Thank you. So, um... <laughs> so, um... He, uh... Oh, I lost my whole train of thought. Let's just say hi to everybody, and let, oh, maybe it will come back. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi, Tammy. Hey, Annie. Hey, Janet. Annie, are you new from YouTube? I feel like Mary Beth is usually my only YouTuber. I would be so excited to get my second YouTuber. Hi, Janet and Cindy. Cindy picked up her girl from camp. Brenda. Hey. Hey, Starla. Kim C. Oh, Mary Beth was at the Dollar Tree. That's a Oh, for the first time. No way. What did you get? Tell us all about it. We love to go to the Dollar Tree. Yep, that's true. Um, sure, it's true. Janet hung out with her parents. Oh, a week. Oh, my gosh. I bet you missed her when she was at camp for a week. Oh, you got your beachy bowl set. It is going to be so cute. Hey, Miss Donna. Oh, yay. Annie, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Is he new? Um, she's new. We're so glad she's here. So, um, I Surprise. used to record Nate, honey. <laughs> so Nate's very chatty tonight. Um, he is really supposed to be in bed, but he's refusing. We um we I had a thought and now I lost it again. <laughs> hey Penny. Annie, we're so glad you're here. If you're new, oh, Linda's new. Hey, Linda. So glad you're here. Um, Woohoo, a couple new people. This is fun. So last night we started a wa watermelon tray, and tonight we're going to finish it. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to... Oh, I showed you last night. If you weren't here last night, you're going to see a couple ways to use this mask to go ahead and paint your seeds. But, um, yeah, tell me what you got at the dollar store because I was there the other day. I get a lot of storage bins, like plastic bins. So when I cut my, do my wood cutouts, like I cut a whole set, it goes into these little trays from the Dollar Tree on a bakery cart, if you will. That's what it is. It's a bread, it's a jelly roll cart. Um, oh, Pam's new to the Joyful Crafting Club. Welcome, Pam. Yes. The Joyful Crafting Club is still open. It's a tier tray crafting club. We do um, wood cutouts every month. You get five to six signs. It is a lot of fun. And um, we paint together. We have we have multiple things in there. Um, you have 
by multiple things, I mean multiple ways to, to learn how to paint the tray of the month. So I have video tutorials. So those of you who can't come on, on paint party night or who want to get a head start um, or who want to come on paint party night, but want to just hang out and not paint, um, you can go back and watch the tutorials. Um, some people like to do the, uh, oh, what is that called? They like to do the paint party night only. And then other people like to do both. And I just really believe that the paint, the, the short tutorials are the way to go. Whoever gave me the like button, I love it. Thank you. The kids are always like, mom, you don't get enough. You don't get enough likes. They're like, where, why don't they float the hearts, mom? Um, so, <laughs> but, um, so you have that, you have the short video tutorials so that you can go back and watch them whenever you want. Um, the other thing you get a printable in your box and then you get the digital version in the group. I'm really excited. If you got the, um, if you're still getting a couple emails about joining the club and you've already joined, here's what I want to tell you is I schedule those ahead of time. And so if it's already scheduled and you're in there, then just don't worry about it. Your art, it's just ignore the email. And then, and then eventually that will go away. I'm going to do this tonight. We did, when did we do, what did we do yesterday? Yeah. But we're going to go like this. It's so if you didn't, and then when you join, you should get an email telling you um, what to do, how to join the text list, where to join the club. Monday's the big intro. This is what we painted last night. This light, I'm going to put a little bit more light right here. I have these big gargantuan lights and I feel like it's too dim on this side when I make that big. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this down a little bit. Okay. I'm just right here. You just can't see me. That's better. All right. Okay. So let's start painting and let's chat. So we did this last night. Here's our colors. We have fire coral, um, coral reef. We've got, oh, Dana, you, yes. Yes. Dana just, Dana just joined. I'm so excited. I actually, Dana saw that come through. When I was at Hobby Lobby, I think, we're painting with a citrus. I am so excited, you guys. I'm so excited to have all these new women. You're going to absolutely love the group. It is the best group of women. And the other thing that you're going to love is um, your trays every month. And these ladies, I learned so much from them on how to style. I don't know if you guys have seen some of the trays I've been posting. I'm just going to scooch this out of, way so, out of the way so I have room to paint. But um, they just blow me out of the water with what they do. Um, they're just, they like take it up a notch and they're just fun and they love to share ideas. Um, yeah, you have a lot of ladies that are here. Oh, you got, okay, Mary, Loctite clips and a scoring tool. Good. Okay. Yeah. If you go to the Dollar Tree, this is a great tool to have. Um, these clamps are from the Dollar Tree. They had Loctite at the Dollar Tree? I don't think I've seen it at my Dollar Tree. I'm going to go look tomorrow because I've been paying three bucks a bottle for that stuff. Girl, if you got it there, you got a good deal. Um, okay. You want to say hi? Yeah. Okay. Come say hi. This is Luke. This is my nine-year-old. They are supposed to be in bed. I'm not going to bed. Go to bed. No. Go. I love you. No. Go on up to bed. Go with your father. No. So they're supposed to be in bed, but it's summer and they're grounded. They are today. They were grounded. Go upstairs. Because we threw rocks at the pool. They were, yes, they were misbehaving yesterday. So they are all on extra work duty today and they do not like it one bit, but we cannot throw rocks. Right, guys? I mean, it's just not okay to throw rocks. And so, um, after they were warned multiple times, do not throw the rocks. It's very tempting because they haven't poured the concrete yet. But, all right. So, we have a couple options with this. I'm thinking to make this ring on the outside either light green or dark green. I'm kind of thinking the light green and then go dark green, light green and make this 
the darker melon color. I see even have an opinion. And make the little drops the lighter melon on this one. I kind of think the green would look good. So let's try that. Um, I'm going to do sweet and the darker melon. So I always teach you to line your... So the bottles are all very, very small. They're like point... I want to say 0.36 ounces. Um, I think that that's about the size um, that they are. They're all really, really small. Hey, Tammy. How are you, my friend? Um, I do want to tell you, you guys who have filled out the member preferences sheets, I got a couple questions about this. So... Um, and we'll, we'll talk more about this Monday, but if you're in the Joyful Crafting Club and you filled out that member preferences, right? Don't worry that you're locked in forever and ever. Amen. If you're like, hey, I changed my mind. We can, we can update that. Okay. Um, I don't have it accessible for you to update because I need to know when I go to, hey, Joe, if you're watching, like Gracie's downstairs barking. I know you're going to be like, uh, what are you going to do? Um, but, um, I can update those. Joe's my husband for those of you guys who are new here. It's, he's my husband and often he's watching probably not now. He's probably wrangling the children in bed. Um, he always jokes about that. He can't come on because we will go viral and he won't be able to go to Walmart without, um, without being noticed. <laughs> so yeah, someday I will get him to come on and craft with me. He's crafted with me once. I did an art camp last summer and he came and helped, but that might've traumatized him. Okay. So how cute this is. Okay. And I'm just going up and down, up and down really quickly, guys. So if you've got questions, go ahead and um, drop them in the comments so I can answer them. This still has the tape on it. I'm painting right over the tape because we're going to paint those watermelon seeds here. So yeah, I went to Hobby Lobby. They had, um, I was really doing some thinking about the coming months in the club. Sometimes I do very good planning, thinking at Hobby Lobby without the children. If the children are with me, there's no thinking that takes place. Okay. So this is that fire coral. I love this melony color. You could also go with like a red and a pink on this if you wanted to, but, um, which would look really cute. The, the bright red. We've done a lot of red lately, though, in the JCC and the Joyful Crafting Club. So I wanted to go with this more melony color. All right. I'm going to move that out of the way. Um, I'm going to paint these all because these are all going to be melony here. This side. So yeah, those preferences, that way we can, you can update those anytime. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go check out the Loctite because I have not seen that at the Dollar Tree. This is a really thin piece of tape there and I'm not too concerned about the fact that I'm going over the edge because I'm going to go back with green and it's going to cover it up so we're good so 4th of July is next weekend does anyone have any big plans for next weekend are you going anywhere doing anything
Joe and Hobby Lobby, like they're clearancing out their summer already and they've got fall and they're putting out Christmas. So I'm like, that's a lot. So I'm so back to Monday. I'm so yours has a, I think the comments are like super. So super cute, super cute. So this hangs yours has lots of fall. So Kim, y'all go, um, Y'all go probably go boating on the 4th, don't you? I don't know. We usually march in the um, Cub Scout Parade, like the 4th of July Parade for our city with the Cub Scouts. But but um, my, my only kiddo who's really like crazy gung-ho about Scouts is Nate. And he ranked up and the other two decided they don't want to go back. So, hey, Amy. Okay, Amy from Wix Wax Candle. Hey, how are you? Your daughters are having their birthday. Yours has fall. Yeah, Brenda said she almost bought a pumpkin. Girl, I almost bought a pumpkin today too. But I started thinking about it. And I was like, you know, I'm not really sure off the top of my head what I still have from fall last year. And I kind of feel like I blew through a lot of that. If you, I mean, I like I don't really even know if I put all of it out. I think we got so busy last fall that um, we just didn't get a lot done. Um, your family comes on the third, and you walk over to the state park, watch the fire plug. Oh, the fire works. You stay at your house. Kim says she stays at her house, but you could watch them from your yard. Oh, how cool! Kim lives on the lake. Um, that is, you guys, she's like, has a really rough life. She crafts and looks out at the lake. I want Kim's life. <laughs> and she is the sweetest person in the world, but legitimately, like, she has the most beautiful view. See. Oh, Brenda, you're moving again. Holy girl. The moves. We talked about that last night. Like, it's a lot. Okay. For the popsicle. I'm almost thinking this should be the lighter cut. Like, this and this should be light. And we can do this in the light green. And this in that darker pink. And this can be like a brown. Or even a natural wood would be really pretty. What do you guys think about that? I really like that bright green. They also have... Ooh. I'm starting to yawn. I haven't yawned. It's because I'm sitting. I need to stand up and craft. And then I wouldn't yawn. Um, last. Oh, where was I? When we went to Myrtle Beach two years ago, I found these really cute reversible signs um, for Christmas, for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, and this year... I just love the bright green. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I love it. Um, but you know what I noticed at Hobby Lobby? They did not have a lot of trays. I don't know if it's because they've had a sale all week and people bought everything. But they did not have a lot of trays. So I've got a super thin piece of wood here. So it's not gonna, you're not going to um, see the edges because it's going to be glued in there. If anybody has an opinion about the popsicle, let me know if you have any color opinions. Because I'm, um, if not, I'm going to like move forward with the plan. That's cute. Oh, 
they had a lot of those trays. I'll have to show you guys mine sometime, but it doesn't, it has three tiers, but it's more for like four inch and three and a half inch signs. This is going to be, um, I'm just going to seal this with dirt clear. They don't have a lot of, um, they don't have a lot of, oh, what sort I'm looking for. They didn't have a lot of bigger trays. Hey, Gail, you're right on time, girl. You're never late here, believe me. How, how was your day? You went today and, you, oh, Dana said she she went today. Okay, Brenda likes my popsicle plan. Good. Dana said she noticed that. So, where is that tray? This tray right here. It's on my shelf. This tray I got from Amazon. And it's a link to my, um, my Amazon store. I really like this tray. It's a really cute tray. Um, if you scroll on my page, I styled it with the strawberry stuff. It looked really cute. It's really pretty. It's a great height. That's a really good tray if you're looking for one. And I think it was $27. So it was super affordable. Yes, I can post a link to my Amazon store. Let me think about this. Where would my Amazon store be? I should know. I usually have it bookmarked, but I might have it bookmarked in another browser. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. I got it. So yeah, this is a great, let me, let me drop it here. Um, it's a really cute tray. Okay. So there was someone in, in the, actually in the joyful crafting club, Denise, and she put her strawberry. No, it wasn't strawberry. It might have been. I think it was her first month and she did her strawberry in something similar. And I loved the tray. I loved how everything looked in it. And so um, I'm not sure that we had the same top. I'll show you the top on this one. It has like a double wire top thing, which is I just think Denise's top might be different. So um It just might be slightly different. And then it's a really cute tray. And you can get some cute trays on Amazon for, you know, 27 bucks. Yeah, I feel like Hobby Lobby just, I don't know. They didn't have anything that looked fabulous. So if you're watching right now, tell me if you've, in the comments, um, say, Yes, if you've painted trays before, and if you have, tell us like what you've done. And if you're brand new to trays, just put brand new. Let me know. Let me know where you guys are in terms of that. That's gonna really help me. Yeah, Gail was at a funeral today. Oh, I'm glad that it was nice. I'm glad it was nice. Gail's brand new to trades, but Gail is not brand new to crafting. Penny, you're brand new. Okay. This is helpful. I know Gail. Oh. Oh, they have special Olympics friends. Really sweet. Mary Beth is new. Okay, Brenda's done some. Starla's new. Oh, Janet, you know my friend Tracy. Love Tracy. I know Tammy's... Um, I know Tammy's, Tammy has painted a couple. She's gotten your, the way you styled your 4th of July was really, really cute. Let's see. 
Um, G yeah, Janet Print. Tracy's great. Tracy is fabulous. Tracy teaches the cricket a lot. Is that the is that the group you were in? Let's see here. So Brenda did project D home DIY quarterly sets. Starla's new. Tracy Janet was with Tracy from Print Cut Craft. Tammy Tammy's an old pro now. Her tray looked amazing. You've done your own thing with the items you've made. Pam has. Dana and she used your Waverly colors. She, um, Cindy just started trays, but you've been crap. You just got a laser to make trays. Okay. What kind of laser did you get? New to trays. Le Linda is. Oh, Janet. Oh, that's so sweet. I love her. She's great. I mean, she is just, she's, she's a very good teacher. She, and she really cares about making sure that you learn the content. She's the reason I do the short video tutorials. She was like, Amy, you have to do the tutorials. And I was like, yeah, but everybody else just does a Facebook live. And she was like, yeah, no, that does not work. Let's talk about why it doesn't work. And I was like, oh, you're right. So yeah, I'm sold out on those video tutorials. Dana, 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 did you, I'm drawing a blank, hold on. Um, who, they posted it, why, I feel horrible now, because I, I was texting with, and I, I'm drawing a total blank, hold on, I think it was Dana, yeah, Dana, so it was Dana, I knew it was Dana, okay, Dana, Dana, right here, she, crafted her own three-tier tray she texted me a picture i i was i was 99.99 percent, but i didn't want to misspeak she um crafted her own three-tier tray and painted it and assembled it and it looks amazing it looks amazing um, it's in the joy. It's in Amy and Art's crafting tribe, and you should see how she styled it. I mean, it is really beautiful. And I was telling her today on my way to Hobby Lobby that um, that I bought a set of vintage like cake pans, a set of three to make a tear tray. Oh, it was before we moved to Ohio, so it's been a while. And I was gonna make a tear tray, and I was like, I just got sidetracked and didn't do it. But I told her I'm inspired now because hers is gorgeous. I'm going to see if I can find some candlesticks for it. Um, she found, you found my stuff because you were watching Tracy. Oh, I love Tracy. Just love her. Her, yep. And her subscription box. Did you make the B? An X tool. Okay. Is that, I don't know what an X tool is. I'm not familiar with that. I have a glow forge and a thunder. I don't, um, is it, I need to look it up. But I'd love to chat about that. That's what I thought, Dana. Yes, yes, yes. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Everybody needs to go over to Amy and Art's Crafting Tribe. I don't know if you can post a picture in the comments on on a um, live, if you can post the picture, if not go over to the joyful crafting club and, or Amy and arts crafting tribe. She posted it there. Okay. Timmy was with Chalk tour. Pam's done some stuff from dollar tree. Ah, awesome. Someone in the joyful crafting club, Pam, um, Pam Laird did a really beautiful tear tray. And she used two trays from the joyful crafting club in like a glass or from the, Dollar Tree in a glass like vase and put fairy lights in it. It's really beautiful. So you can absolutely do it. Okay. Pam did that. Okay. So I've got to find mine. I don't know where they are, but they're, um, I was gonna, I will, and I'll do it and show you guys. 
I've got to find a finial for the top. Yes, girl, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay, Janet made the bee. We all had bee envy. Those bees were so cute. Okay, yep. It's um it's mine. Yeah, we would love to see it. Post a picture. We would love to see it in the crafting tribe, Pam. So about the laser, I agree. Like it it's I got mine like right when they were first coming out. Like we were right at the beginning of all of that. Maybe, I mean, they might have been out for like a year or so, but they had not gotten popular yet. So, um, I mean, they're really fun. They're, I, I started with a silhouette. Um, I still use my silhouette, but like once you understand how an SVG file works, I hope I'm not, any of y'all aren't glazing over. If you don't cut, don't worry. Um, but once you understand how an SVG file works and you can see the positive space and the negative space, and you know what I'm talking about if you cut SVGs, right? It's really easy to move over into a laser. It's, it's really easy. Okay. I'm going to do this in this color. We'll see if we don't like it. We'll paint over it. Oh, Pam, you did the B too. Her B was cute. So we have several Cricut users here. Awesome. Awesome. I've never used a Cricut. Like I started using a silhouette back when Cricut still had those cartridges that you popped in there, y'all. And um, it would only cut the little cartridge that you popped in there. That's what Cricut was. They have done an amazing job with their marketing. I will say that. Because back then, silhouette had actual files that you cut from. You downloaded and cut from them. They have done a really good job with their marketing. Okay, I'm going to paint these a little darker. Oh, you made it. Yeah, so, so the B... Um, you made a tray that you put the bee kit on and you bought four packs of unfinished rectangle wood pieces, different sizes, candlesticks, and stained it with a Waverly wax. Oh, girl, I got to see that too. You guys have got to share this stuff. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Like you make something, I think sometimes and you think, well, you know, like it's not, it's, it's, I made it and it's not that, you know, whatever. But like, you don't have no idea how many people want to be able to do that you know how many people are either they want to craft it themselves just because it's fun they're in a position where like going to buy it would be problematic they would rather just t take um you know and, and the time to do it themselves maybe they only have a certain space um to put it in, but there's a gazillion reasons. And when we share what we do with each other, we inspire each other. Is just just share it, put it out there, let other people see it, so that they can get inspired. I'm going to make sure I'm painting the right size side of these. So I'm going to line these up first to make sure I don't have them flipped over. I can tell <laughs> because it's so fun. Just look what you guys have started. Dana started all of this time showing her try. And now everybody wants to make one. I'm going to make one. We should have like a whole homemade tear tray lineup. It's so fun. I have a file where I can cut them from my laser. And I have the, um, what is it called? The, the hardware. I think I was saying that last night. But I've just never done it. I don't know why. Hey, Tammy W. Okay. Kim, you did okay. Okay, I'll, Pam, I'll um, approve you when when we get off this live. Thank you so much. Here's Tammy. Tammy's here. How are you, Tammy? We were I was talking about your gorgeous tray earlier. Um. 
Um, so y'all in the comments, someone Dana's thinking about getting a cricket and she's asking like what kind she should get. All of you cricket users sign in. I am a diehard silhouette only because I think if you are ever going to sell your products or if you're doing it commercially, that's the way to go. Um, you and the software for me is so much easier than the cricket software. I'm just grabbing some um, this. So, but that's just me. Um, oh, Tammy, thank you for the sprinkle. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It helps spread the love, get more, meet more people. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to put your name in the jar, girl. If Nate was here. You're still taking care of your friend's parents until midnight. Oh, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. I wish I had put you in the jar. Cindy's going in the jar. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, you guys will never believe what I found at the Dollar Tree today. Or no, at Hobby Lobby. I went on purpose because remember we were talking about the bowl fillers. And um, going right in the joyful jar. Um, Mary Beth, going in the joyful jar. I found two gumball machines. I'm going to get, those are going to be gifted this month. I'm wrap those babies up. Super cute. Um. Oh, yay. Jessica just joined. Welcome to the Joyful Crafting Club. I'm so glad you're here. Woohoo. Yay. I'm excited too. The boxes are going to ship about the 5th. So right after the 4th of July. Um, they always ship about the 5th. Because um, generally, like every other month, your payments go through um, on the 1st. And then that gives a couple of days um, to make any adjustments, finish up, get everything handled. And um, and then there'll be a calendar too that'll go up in the group and tell you when everything's going to happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint this with a paintbrush. So yeah, you're going to have such a fun group. Oh, thank you, Dana. I'm getting all kinds of sprinkles. Kim C., thank you. Kim C., Oh, Tammy. Woo, we got lots of sprinkles. Yeah, I, some ladies were saying they're having trouble finding the jars from the Hobby Lobby. And so I found a couple and picked them up. Dana, thank you. And Jessica, I'm super excited. It's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun tray. Going to be a fun tray this month. Thank you for all the sprinkles, guys. It's going to be a really fun tray. It's going to, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm super excited about it. Thank you, thank you. So I just have a um, little angle brush because this is a tight little area. Yeah, welcome. It is such a fun group. You should have gotten an email telling you what to do. And then Monday at 12 o'clock, I'm going to go live in the group. I'll let everyone in that morning. I'll go live in the group. I'll answer any questions you have. Tell you the lay of the land. And um, we are going to have lots of fun. It is a really fun group. And it's also... So I don't know how many of you guys um, have been where you've crafted something and there's, you just don't know what to do with it. Like it's cute, but you're like, well, where am I going to hang it? Or where am I going to put it? What am I, 
you know, and that was me for a long time too. And so I, until I started with tear trays and I was like, wait, hold on. I know exactly what to do with this. I'm going to put it right here. And then you know how to decorate with it. And then once you get used to decorating your trays, um, you can branch out into like using them on shelves, um, mantles, decorative trays, gumball filler sets. Like there's no end to all of the fun. Bowl fillers. There's no end to the fun. Who was, I think it was. Yes, girl, I found the white one. I found the white full size and the black full size. I got two whites and a black. I think I'm going to go back Monday because and get a couple more before they're out of stock. They had the mint green. And I was trying to pick ones that would get the most mileage. Like I think you can use black at, depending on your decor, right? Halloween, fall, Christmas. Um, even Valentine's day, right? Cause if you had, are doing red and black and Valentine's day, snowman black would look really cute. Um, depending on, you know, just, there's a lot of different ways to, to do that. But the, 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 the bright green one, the color is really cute, but I just couldn't get my head around a lot of holidays. Like it was that like really trendy minty green that they were doing, um, and I just, it, it was cute, but I was trying to like pick things where people could get the most bang for their buck on. So the big ones, the full size ones, and I, I need one for me just for the website so that I can show both of them so that people will know that guess what? The risers fit in both. Cause I have a Hobby Lobby riser you guys, and uh, um, we've recently found an obsession with gumball machine risers. So, um, Gumball machines, like gumball machine filler and stuff. The white, red. I'm probably going to go back and pick a few more up on Monday. They didn't have a lot. Probably going to go pick up a few more. So, and the scoops. I have a few more scoops on the site. I did not. I have the popcorn too, Tammy, and I have a, a file for like, like movie night popcorn. Um, super cute. I just haven't, haven't done it yet. I added, um, the water, a watermelon. I haven't painted it yet, but I added it to this, to the site, a watermelon scoop and bowl filler and a firecracker scoop and bowl filler. I might just get a bunch up and then paint them after because the painting is what takes a long time. It takes the most time when you have multiple sets. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to let that dry. Oh, you can use the white one as a, as a snowman. So Tammy, you've got the mint. They did not have the pink, which I was kind of sad about. What are you doing with the mint one? Tell me. Because I just was standing there thinking, and I was like, how am I going to? I need to paint this. What are your plans with the mint one? Okay. I'm looking for baby wipes. Here we go. I was listening to Crowder in the car. I'm singing. Um, they're really cute. But when I, I got some of them, and then a lot of the ladies were like, they, they were looking for them and they couldn't find them. And then, I don't know, Target, sometimes Facebook Marketplace has them. Um, I bought a whole new bottle today. Look at this. I got a big one. Sometimes fake it. face. Yeah, summer. Yep, Tammy, I can see that for summer. The mint for summer. I would agree with that. Um, 
beachy or pool, right? Oh, I'm just waiting. Like with my luck, it's going to like blow up on my face because I'm live. You guys don't know how many times like I've done paint everywhere during a live, like just all over the place. Once I took a bottle and it didn't have the cap on and I was trying to show it here and just dumped it all over. It was, it was graceful. The pool or the beach. Yep. I agree on that. I'm, I'm back with Tammy and her men. Yep. I agree with that for sure. I was thinking about like gifting them and I thought, you know, um, for gifting, I want to pick maybe things that people can get year round mileage on, but that would look really cute. Like little beach balls in there. Um, little swim trunks. Okay. I'm just using a baby wipe to just wash this on here. I squirted a lot of paint. I don't really need that much. Okay. See, I have a... We're gonna have to have like a tiered tray crafting party. Like everyone who wants to make one needs to gather up their stuff and we just need to like have a live and I can craft mine, y'all can craft yours, share tips and tricks. I'm thinking that Loctite would come in handy. I love this tray too, Tammy. It's so fun. So, so fun. I think watermelon is just, you know, the watermelon, the summer fruit, the berries. It's just like such a fun way to celebrate. I'll see in that. It's a little too darker than what I want it to be. I'll let it dry. Okay, so let me see where we are. We're just about there. taking this tape off. How is the pool? Is that what your, how is your pool coming along? Did you mean to ask that? How is my laser coming along? I have a lot of things in process. How is my, I'm supposed to be getting healthy because I'm getting old coming along. I have a lot of things I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, I'm going to try this. The pool is coming along. Um, yeah, the pool. So, where are we on the pool? We are waiting. Um, we had... When you're, like... We've got to make a few decisions. A couple things changed that we didn't anticipate changing. So, we've got to make a few decisions there. And then, um, and we're waiting on the electrician to come and run the, the plumbing's done, but now the electrician's got to come and run the, um, run the electric and then they've got to pass inspection and then they can spray concrete. So I do not have the right paintbrush to do this right back here. I need like a teeny, teeny, that is so small. Okay. 
innate. Oh my gosh. We can't keep the child out of the pool. So when we, we have what's called, um, this was new to me in Texas. I didn't ever see one of these, but it's called an auto cover. So it actually like covers the pool and it's electronic and it locks and you can only open it with a keypad. And because we have small kids, we did get that. And once it's installed, we will be able to keep him out of the pool. But we just cannot keep him out. I mean, like, because it's just that right now has an orange construction fence. Next week, I'll go out and show y'all how things are looking. Um, we have not. This is so bad. Okay. I am not good at things like picking furniture or anything like that. It's just not my thing. So I haven't even started thinking about it. My aunt who lives, you guys will see her pop up on my page. Her name's Ann West. She'll pop up every once in a while and she'll ask like how things are going and she'll like talk about packing our bags and coming up to visit and i always tell her like well you better bring you a lawn chair because i just i don't know i'm just not there yet i need to start doing mood boards and stuff like that but i'm just the furniture piece is not my i'm not really good at picking furniture so and then we have to we have to have our decory done too so our house is, um, the deck's like 30 years old. And because we um, excavated out at the ground level, we have to have a bunch of piers, like posts replaced. And then we've got to have the deck replaced because it, it'll, um, well, mostly because it's not dry. Meaning like when it rains, the water will run through underneath. And we want it to be like a dry living space, if you will. I know I do need Stacy for that. I need Stacy for that. I know. I need Stacy for the whole every okay, let's just be honest. Everyone needs Stacy for their whole house. But um I th I've been looking at stuff and I don't know. I think it's one of those I think it's like with crafting. Like I just didn't wake up and wasn't just like good at crafts or at laser cutting or the silhouette or like the first thing I made with a silhouette. I was so proud of it, but it's it was really ugly. Um I downloaded the word joy. And the O was like a snowflake. And I cut it. And I put it on a piece of scrapbook paper and I put it in a frame. And that was my first silhouette project. And I was very, very proud of that. Like I displayed that thing and I was like, look at this. I was like so proud of myself. And, um, and so I think it's like anything. I think you do it. I do have Stacy's ebook. Like I bought that thing when it first came out. It was, it was before. I, I mean, I, I was still like just kind of, Yeah. That was, um, I do have her ebook and it's helpful. It's very helpful for like understanding rug sizes and all of that. Um, but I do this for the joyful crafting club. I don't know if, if you guys know that, but, um, I make a mood board for the joyful crafting club so that I can kind of look at the, sh the shapes and the signs I'm going to put together and the colors so that, you know, if I'm out and I'm looking at something or if I'm somewhere and I need to reference it and then I can tell whether or not it all feels good together. And the truth is, it's not a lot different with furniture. If you're still talking about colors and textures and all the things. It's just um, it's a different shape. Right. And then we have this like massive built in TV set and it, uh, not TV set like it's a. um what are those things called? Entertainment center, like a built in and it's just huge. And it's like, I don't know. It's got these corner shelves. I don't, I, I was never a fan of it. So 
I would like to just rip it out, but we can't. So, cause then if you rip that out, we've got to redo the whole wall and all the carpet and the paint on that wall all the way over into the entryway. Cause it's open and blah, blah, blah. So, um, Stacy is so good. So her pillow club, Gail, I do about it before y'all did. She shared it with our business group and, um, it's been so fun watching her kind of like talk about her super secret spy, um, spy project. But um, I don't think she's going to have the pills till this fall. I could be wrong. Um, I think we're going to do seeds and then we're done. I could be wrong, but I think that that's what, when it's going to be. Yeah, you know what? It's really good for um, like dimensions and sizes and... And she does love, she loves her pillows. I have, um, I bought a sublimation printer or I got one for my birthday and, um, I haven't used it yet, but I wanted to sublimate pillows and like, I don't know, onto wood. And I have, like, I have the pillowcases to sublimate on. I have, I just have to set the printer up. Just for fun, right? Like, just to be able to say, hey, I want this on a pillow. Okay. So, tell me in the comments, how many of you guys feel like you're really good at decorating? And how many of you guys feel like it's a struggle for you? How many of you guys feel like that's you too? Like, I have trouble keeping the cushions on the couch with the kids. Um, thank you, Kim. I know I do love these colors. I was saying you could do the, like, the melon could be red instead, right? But I really love this kind of watery. It's, a, it's called fire coral. Brenda says you struggle with it. Tammy loves to decorate. Kim says it depends. struggle. Tammy says it's a struggle. Gail said you decorate your house with a home interior party and candlelight parties. But Cindy says your sister's really good at it. Yeah, like our house in Texas um, was kind of, we built it and so everything was the way I liked it, you know. Um, cause we built the house, but here we do not, you know, and I love the bones of the house, but I don't like the color so much. And it's, it's just, it's a, it's a lot to like, I don't know. I should just start with like the laundry room or something. Joe is, <laughs> he was sitting in the, um, in the laundry room on the floor. So wait, Gail loves it. Tammy said, you're good at decorating, but you struggle with wall paint. Mm hmm. Mary Beth struggles. Dana says she struggles. Dana, Dana says her husband brings it together. So that's kind of Joe is Joe used to like a long, long time ago, sell floor tile. And he's really good at picking out the undertones and colors, you know, because like brown can be cool or it can be warm. And so I've kind of learned that from him. But, um, you know, because you can have a, a cool brown or a warm brown. Same with grays. Grays can be purpley or they can be steely. Um, and you can't really put a purpley gray and a steely gray together because they don't look good. So he was he was sitting in our laundry room. I don't know why he was sitting on the floor in the laundry room. I, I don't know why. I'll have to think about that for a minute. But he was like, <laughs> I walked in there and he goes, this paint is so ugly. I was like, yeah, I know. Like, it is just... Ugly. I think I need to do a mood board. I'll tell you what stresses me out is having the whole house flow. That's my stress point with it. Like I have one room in this house that I absolutely love. It's my dining room. And I know a lot of people don't have dining rooms anymore, but I love the, um, this house is 30 years old. So it does. I love the way that the room lays. I love the color. They have it painted. The only thing I'm not crazy about are the shades that she had, which cause they're like, I don't know. 
but we leave them up so it doesn't matter. And um, I love the, the I love that room. It's my I mean it's so it is just and my dining room set went perfectly in there. It just looks like it was made for that space. I love that room, but I don't know how to make the whole house flow. That's where I get overwhelmed. I'm like, but how do I know that this is going to look good here? Like when you walk through the house, it's going to feel like it, it's like not some Cracker Jack box thing. And it's, it doesn't make sense from one space to the other. You know, my last house did because we had the whole thing painted white. And we did a lot of um, grays and, and, and blacks and neutrals. And then we just did pops of color everywhere. You know, I, I did a lot of blues. And then I had kids and then I put all the pillows away. Um, so that's what stresses me out because I'm like, oh, when we picked colors for the kids room, because they had um, Gabe's room. No. Yeah. Gabe's room was like pink with a like a multicolored girl fan in it with these different colors like pink and green. I'm just looking for a paper towel. Because I don't have any chat calls right here. It was just not. It was not. Right? You're just like, mm, and not good. And so we painted that. And we took that down. We painted Luke's room. So Luke Luke and Nate also had these really massive built-in desks that took up like 25% of the floor space. And so Joe pulled those out. And we, had, we painted the walls. And we did what's called a grage. Has everyone like... Oh, good, Dana, my people. I know I can do a tear tray and it can blow your socks off. Don't ask me to decorate the whole house because I'm going to, I'm going to cry. Um, it was like a grayish is what they call it. It's like a mix between a gray and a beige and it's a really nice neutral. That's what we put in the boys rooms. And it's really nice and it's really um, calming and it's not, I can't remember the name of it. But um, I really like that color. The thing about this house is that it has a lot of really beautiful woodworking in it. And it's like real wood. It's not like our house in Texas that had that that like fake wood and then they painted it. It's, it's real wood and it's beautiful. And like I want to keep and it's very warm. It's not cool at all. It's very warm and rich. And I want to keep that feel through the whole house. Hey, Jen. Girl, why are you not packing? Are you packed? Tell me you're not packed. I saw you on your live. I was, I was at Hobby Lobby, I think. I saw you. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, she's live tonight in her group. And she's like, got to leave tomorrow. Aren't you leaving tomorrow? I'm pretty sure. I hope you're packing, honey. I hope you're packed. You're going to be exhausted. We have a girl's trip. Um, there's a group of a bunch of us. A bunch of us, 10 of us or so. Um, and they're going to one of the girls' houses. They're going in tomorrow and they're going to be back Wednesday or Thursday. Um, you pack right before you leave because that's how you roll. Yeah. Um, well, huh, just take a bathing suit and pair of shorts. You guys will be fine. They're going to hang out at the pool, talk business, cook, you know, girls time. I wish I could go. Um, but I've already been gone once this month and it's just about all I can handle in one month. Plus the end of the month is really hard to travel. Plus I have all of these new ladies to get ready for in the Joyful Crafting Club. And I really want to get that done and make sure everything is ready to go and going out of town would put me on overload but i'm gonna miss my girls okay i usually do this with a tack cloth to get that paint dust off but i don't have one i don't i forgot to get it so we're gonna do this mm. here we go Um, I know. I know you're excited. I'm sad I won't be there too, but next time. And then I'm going to advocate for like a mid-month trip next time. 
God, we planned this so long ago. Okay, this is probably my favorite part because this is like adult coloring. So if you like look at something like this and you're like, oh, it's just stressful. It's too many little things. Like it's so calming. And it's better than adult coloring because you get to hang it up on a tear tray. Just saying. So. How'd your lettering session go? Did it go well? The Procreate? Plus, I think, too, like, I mean, I don't, it's, it's hard with the kids home all day during the summer with just one of us. I mean, Joe wouldn't say anything. He would, You guys hear Joe walking upstairs? Can anyone hear that? He's, I don't know what he's doing up there. It sounds like he's running a marathon back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, like I put my makeup on and then pack it. That's like my thing. We we're talking about house decorating and like. That's my big thing is like getting it to flow through the whole house. I'm always worried I'm going to be massively disconnected. Hey, Gracie May. What's she doing? All right. So in the Joyful Crafting Club, like if I was doing this, I would just paint one part and I go, okay, so here's how you paint the seeds. And I would show you one and be like, okay, so finish painting your seeds and then come back, right? And I would tell you exactly how to do it. And then, but you wouldn't sit there the whole time and, and I wouldn't paint every seed while we were there because I try to keep them super short so you can do one part. Watch the video, take some action. Watch the video, take some action. Right? I know. I don't have to catch you guys on the lives. I'm sure you guys will do a live from down there. Okay. They don't have to be like exactly perfect. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, here, I forgot to tell you guys, this is up. I was thinking about Donna today because she was asking the trays and the, and the, and the bowl filler are done are on the site. Yeah. I, um, okay. I haven't. What have you, you've been watching Dollar Tree stuff on YouTube, Gail? I mean, the thing about, is like having a purpose in mind for what you're going to do with it when you're done. Right, because I can't tell you how many times I've been in Dollar Tree. I'm not, and I'm not banging the Dollar Tree, bashing the Dollar Tree at all. But I go in and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I get all this stuff, and I come home, and it's in a 
a box or in a, in a bin for like months and I never make anything with it. And so I think like with a Dollar Tree, if you have like a purpose in mind or you're like, you know what? Like I found some four and a half by four and a half wood blanks. And I thought, you know what? I could make printables that would fit perfectly on those, right? The crates, I know I love to use the crates. The canvases to make reverse canvas with, right? I found something else I'm gonna, um, and I'm gonna make a little reel out of it for you guys to craft with, it was super fun. But um, I know the patriotic crafting is so fun. And, and you can put it up at the at Memorial Day, like at the end, and leave it until after the 4th of July. A lot of people leave it until fall. I don't like that seed. Okay. Lord, I need you. Okay. We're going to put it together. A little sanding on this. I am not going to take my green sandpaper. Um, my gumball machine. So hold on, let me show you. Where's... It's right here. Here, I'll show you what I just cut. So. This is a gumball machine here. Let me do this and then we'll put it together. Let me take this off. So this is a gumball machine. Um, this one I got on, it's from Target. I got on Facebook Marketplace. So, and then I make these little risers that go in them like this. So that they're easier to style and you don't have to jam a bunch of tissue paper and trying to get everything in there. So this goes in the bottom. And then this just folds in half. And because I have a piece of tape on the back that acts like a hinge. And then you just pop it down in here and then you have a platform. Okay. So that's, this is one. And then the other ones I got at Hobby Lobby today, I picked up several because, um, because the ladies were talking about the other night they couldn't find them. So then we did a, um, we did a beach scoop, like a beach themed one. And we had a scoop on there. This is the one that I just dropped the link to. This is the, let me do this. So this doesn't, I don't drop it. So this is, hold on. There we go. This is the watermelon scoop. And then these are wood beads and these are the cutest thinking things. So it's a tiny little piece of watermelon and then it has this in the middle and the string goes through there. And then you put this here and it's a two sided watermelon bead and they hang two different ways. So one hangs, so there's two of those and then the watermelon bowl filler, a big piece, a quarter piece and a slice, like a half, a quarter and a slice. And there's like nine all together. So three of each. Super cute, right? To go with this tray. Um, let me put this over here. Super cute, right? The I think once I get it painted, we'll put together a little set. But I put that up for you guys today. And then I just dropped the link to this in the... Um, the baby watermelon beads. I know it's really, really cute. It's really, really cute. Um, I dropped the link and it's going to give you like a good mental, like it gives you a nice mental break when you have to do the adult coloring. Um, I was telling Tammy Schultz earlier today, she was asking about what to use. And I said, I use that Thule art marker. Um, if you don't have an art marker, the difference between the art marker and maybe, um, here, I'll do it on the back of this because I'm going to glue it down. A black Sharpie. So if you have a fine tip, this is a Sharpie pen, not a Sharpie marker. It's more black than a fine tip Sharpie pen. And I don't know why. I don't know if I have a fine tip Sharpie here. 
But let me show you my art marker if I can find it. Oh, this is me. Like, I spent all of my time looking for my supplies. Yeah, you'll be able to see the difference here. The 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 difference with a, like a fine tip sharpie is you see it's not as black. It's almost it's like a lighter black. This one and it can almost look pur like a purpley black, where this is like a really nice true black, but. If you didn't see them side by side, and if you have a fine tip Sharpie, I don't think that anyone is going to really notice on those tiny little, the tiny little things, the little seeds, you know? Because um, the only place that I found the fine, fine, I, I, I have not seen the super fine. These are called ultra fine. I'll show you the difference. So this is a fine tip from the painter's brand. Do you see that? Let me get it in focus. Okay. And then here's your ultra fine tip. I'll show you the difference in the lines they draw. This is ultra fine. And then this is fine tip. Do you see the difference in, in the width? So this for something that small is really nice and controlled where this is good. My kids have been using these. Ugh. This is good for a small space, but you're not going to get that super great detail that you're going to get with, with that ultra fine tip. So that's the difference there. Um, I just think you have to decide like how important it is. I've not seen, so all that to say, I have not seen the ultra, ultra fine at, um, oh, Amy, you big ding dong. Um, I ruin all of my paintbrushes. Um, I've not seen the ultra fine at Walmart at the painters. And you know what? I did not look at Hobby Lobby. I was there and they have so much paint, but I did not look at the paint markers today. Okay, so that's all sanded. This is sanded. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the difference when you seal your stuff. So you can just see it. And then you can decide whether or not you think it's worth it. Um, I'm going to use a sponge for this. So this is, this is the um, DuraClear Satin Varnish. And I'm going to show you the difference in the paint once you seal it. Okay, I'm going to not use a whole lot of it, and I'm going to go real quickly. Okay, you don't want a lot, you want to, and you want to move quickly, and you don't want any junk in your sponge or your brush because it'll stick to your work. Gail, what movie are you watching? Okay. Do you, do you, can you see like there is a difference in the richness of the color? This one that's been sealed is got a richer looking color than this one that just looks flat. And that is why you took all this time to paint your, your, these little mini signs. And this is just going to, it's going to protect it and it's going to make it pop. So. I highly suggest just taking a few minutes. It dries super quick. Dana got some of that today. Yeah, I mean, you just, I won't seal the whole thing. I'll, I'll do the rest of it when we're done. But I just wanted to show you how, how quick and easy it is. Um, and then see this got a little, I don't want to put this onto my white sign. So I'm just going to cut the end off and then go back in that varnish. Every day, every 
Yeah, so the kids legitimately, like when the first we first got the pool, when they first dropped it in. I will I'll give you guys a tour Monday. Um, when they first dropped the pool, the the tour, the pool in, like Nate was so worried about. He was in his like street clothes, like just regular clothes, and he was so worried about getting in the pool and like getting his clothes wet. And I was like, just, it's fine, you know. And he was like, No, mom, I have to have on my swim trunks. And I was like, Okay. So look at the difference here too. Like seriously, it's just night and day, and it's gorgeous when you seal it. So, um. So anyway, what I was saying was, what was I saying, guys? I lost it. Oh, so now, right, he's outside in his normal clothes, and he just decides he's going to get in the pool. The child just jumps in, clothes and everything. So there is a no, I mean, when, the, when we get the cover, I am going to cheer because you know how much wet clothes ends up in my laundry room. Okay. See the difference? It's just night and day. It's just so, so pretty when you seal it. Okay. Let's, oh, I'm on a roll. I'm going to seal this one. I just can't help myself. Okay. I'll, let's look at the difference here too. Watch. Look at the difference. I mean, it's just, it's stunning for just a few swipes with a makeup sponge. I like the makeup sponge because it doesn't leave strokes. Um, oh, it looks so good. Okay. Let's assemble. This will be, see, this is dry to the touch already. It's, it's, it dries so quick. Okay. So we've got our watermelon. And again, guys, you want to put everything together before you start assembling so that you know you've painted the right sides. Cute, 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 cute. Um, you just think the green frame was the right color? I really do think it was. Okay, so this just gets strong with, um, oh good, Tammy, you agree with the green frame. This gets a string, and I haven't decided what string I'm going to put, but I almost feel like it needs a bead or something. I don't know, I'll post a picture tomorrow. Maybe a bead, maybe, um, this definitely needs a bow. I'm going to put a bow on that. And I went with a natural, I don't know if it was the right choice, popsicle stick, just so it looked, looks like a real popsicle. Hmm. What do you guys think about this? Yes, no. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Okay, let's put it together. I even think, I don't know. I'm looking at my ribbon. My ribbon is right here. I don't know. Let's start here. Oh. Ooh. This is almost gone. Jennifer, you're out of the shower already. You're fast. I know. I've been binge listening to podcasts. Okay. I told you guys about the crafting podcast. The ladies talking about um, organizing their craft room. I 
am mesmerized with their podcast. I love it. I, I In my head, I was like, no, I'm going to have to see it. I'm going to have to see him do that. I'm going to have to see it happen. You know, whatever. No, you know what? And then I started thinking about this. Do you remember back in the day? Okay, I used to go to my grandma's house. And um, this is good. And she had a radio on her kitchen table. Like she had like a little counter against the wall. This is Liquitex. I don't think I've got this in my store yet. Like, um, but this stuff is awesome. I bought it to test it out. It's a burnt umber Liquitex professional acrylic marker. And it is the best touch up marker for your edges ever in the world of anything. Um, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I need to put it in my Amazon store. I wanted to try it before I, okay. So anyway, back in the day, I would go to my grandma's house when I was a little kid and she would be like, I'm back on the podcasting. So walk with me down the podcast lane. Okay. So I would go back and, and she would, Walter Cronkite came on. At 11. Why do I remember that? I don't know. But when Walter Cronkite came on, you better bet we were listening to Walter Cronkite. So all of that to say, podcasts are talk radio. Like the original, like they're just like, and think about all of the things that they used to talk about on talk radio before television was invented. Seriously. And um, it engages your brain in a way because you, you have to think and imagine while they're talking. It's kind of like reading, except you're not reading. And I am obsessed because I'm, I don't know. It's like you're, it, I loved it. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like full circle. And, um, and it's really cool because you get to know people in a way like, and I thought there's no way I'm going to enjoy this, right? This crafting podcast thing. Like I want to see it with my eyes. I want to see what they're doing. I want to see how everything works. I'm not going to push this down hard because I need to get my other pieces in there to make sure that it's in the right place. You know, I want to see what's going on, but it's not like a lot like what I'm doing here because this would probably bore the bejesus out of someone just listening to this. I'm not always sure it's interesting while I'm doing it live, quite frankly. But um, but if I was like, hey, I'm going to paint this watermelon tray and you can't see anything. And here's what it looks like. It's got several different signs and I'm trying to decide between colors and I think I'm, you know, blah, blah, blah. And here's what I'm going to do for the paint colors. You know, I'm going to use a, fi a coral fire and just picture like a, like, like that light flesh color of watermelon, you know, not the bright red, but that light flesh color that you get kind of in certain areas. And they talk through the colors and they talk through the options. They talk through the layout. They talk through, okay, when you're done painting your project, you're really going to want to seal it, you know? Um, you're going to want to use something called DuraClear. And here's all the reasons I love DuraClear, you know? Um, and if you go to my website, you know, or the link in the show notes, you can grab my PDF that's got all the different kinds of DuraClear and I've tested them for you. So you can look at, you know, there's a gazillion ways to go with this, but I'll tell you what. It was really awesome. I mean, so I don't know. My friend Lauren, she's the cheerful baker, probably one of the nicest people in the world. Um, we're in a business group together. And um she, she, we've just kind of like chatted back and forth on social media. And then, um, 
she should call me on Instagram to talk to me about my son. She like used the phone call option and called me and we chatted. And then, and then she texted me your phone, phone number and she's like, call me. So anyway, um, just really nice. And so, um, we, she just started a baking podcast and she's recorded three episodes and I was asking her putting weight on this. I was asking her about it and she's like, Oh my God, it is so fun to sit and talk with other people about baking. She's like, I have a blast. So, okay. I'm going to do something different because this is the back and everything's going on top here. I'm just going to spray this. Okay, who remembers Dr. Laura Schlesinger? Like what Jennifer just mentioned? Yes. Girl, Dr. Laura. She had strong opinions. But yeah, I mean, you would get all of this really great information about life. And, and it wasn't just like screen transitions every 25 seconds. Sucking the life out of our brains. Like, I guess I'm on a roll. I think that's the other thing, too, that I love about Facebook Lives is it's not super fast, right? I mean, I can, I don't have everything almost done, and then I pop on, and we have, say, three things. But we get to have real conversations. Like, we found out, you know what, Gail went to her funeral today, and we found out about what... um Kim's going to be doing over the weekend and we had discussions about you know how to make tear trays and what people did like there's so much value in like having real conversation okay it's an online conversation but this is a real conversation with other people right um like you guys are real people and we're having real conversations about things we love. And that's what I love about the lives. More than I love the crafting, I love to talk to y'all. So I'm going to flip this over. Put a little pressure on it. You know, like we found we've been praying for Tammy and her sister and all the stuff Tammy's been through recently. You know, it's. It's important to have conversations and spend real time with real people, you know, not just people in costumes and they've had all of their fat sucked out <laughs> by a doctor, you know, um, that's what I love about it. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is what I love about it. Y'all are my people. Okay. I'm going to move this. Let me get all my trash out of the way. Is that is it possible for me to get all the trash out of the way? We don't know. I mean. But yeah, it's like real people. You guys hear about my kids. I hear about your grandkids and your kids. And Jennifer shares about her life. And, you know, you build relationships. And it's just. got this color today. I think I may already have it. Mossy Meadow. Look at this green. Ah! I know. I love this group. I love the people. I do too, Tammy. Tammy says she loves the group. Me too. You know what? We're real people, real lives. No one's allowed to be perfect. Everyone can contribute. Everyone has value. And I might be the one right here, but you guys all make this what it is. It's it's you guys show up and make it what it is. Okay. I know. You know what? Someday we will. We've talked about that on here before that people, we want to get together and do something. Um. Okay, this is gonna, this is really cute. The next time I'm on here, I'm gonna ask you guys where I put my plates and you can tell them I put them back there, my paint plates. We would have so much fun. 
it might be within to do a small something in Ohio might be within like like nothing crazy like not a $600 event but just like get together craft something eat some lunch so there we go what do y'all think <laughs> Yeah, I know. Jennifer said you guys are my work friends. Yeah, you are my work friends. I think it turned out really well. I love it. I love the white background. I love the colors. I didn't even decor wax anything because I just felt like it didn't need it. Um, it is really cute. And then the scoops, if the scoops were painted... They're not. Look. Oh, I love it. Um, so someone asked, so Cindy, she asked, she's in Kentucky. So Cindy, I'm in um, Central Ohio, Dublin, outside of Columbus. Northwest. Um, where are you in Kentucky? My dad grew up in Aberdeen on the Ohio River right across from Maysville. So when we go visit my granny, we would go to the Dairy Yum Yum on the corner. And then we would walk across the, the bridge. It was a bridge from Aberdeen to Maysville. We walk across the bridge and back. So good night, Gail. I know it's been a long day, lady. Well, I'm fixing to pop off here too. I was waiting to hear what part of um, Kentucky Sunday's in. Um. My granny lived, we, we said she lived up on the hill and we walked down the hill to the mailbox and back. I know it's been a long day. Good night, Gail. We're about, we're going to, I think we're all going to go to bed. It's, it's 11 o'clock on the, on the East Eastern time. 11, 10, nine. Y'all in California are just like, you're closer to Louisville. Okay. So. Um, the Cotton Chaos Girls are down there in Kentucky somewhere, but they're they're more towards the western side of Kentucky. Um, Pam's in our group. She's in, in Virginia, West Virginia, Virginia or West Virginia. I can't remember. But there's a lot of us in this little central area. So someday we'll we'll do something like just a day thing. Yeah, I know Tammy's on the west coast. It's eight in Oregon. So, yeah. So, this is this is the melon tray. It's so cute. I love it. I'll style it and take a picture of... Well, I'm, I'll put it on a tray. I don't know if I'm going to style it tomorrow, but I'll, I'll put it on a tray and take a picture, and I'll get the mini garland up. So... Okay, Tammy's in Iowa. Tammy Schultz is in Iowa. Yeah, Kim is in... Kim's east of Columbus. I'm pretty sure Tammy's north of me. So, all right, ladies, I am going to go. I'm going to get a snack and then I'm going to go to bed and um, I will wake up and see you tomorrow. If you have any questions about the Joyful Crafting Club, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to have you join. We are not doing watermelons next month at all. Um, we, I, I don't ever like the trays in the club are separate. Um, I don't sell them in my store. I just put them in the box. So it's exclusive to the club. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Y'all get a good night's sleep. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for painting the sign. You guys made good choices about the colors. I think we could have painted this light and these dark, but I think it still looks great. All right. Mwah. Sweet dreams, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be on tomorrow night. Just talk about the JCC one more time and answer any questions people have. And um, and then I'll see y'all Monday. Have a great night and um, get some great sleep. And I'll talk to y'all soon.